is a size 10, it's a dry fly hook. Thread I'm going to be using is a uni thread in 8 in black. First thing I'm going to do is put down a good layer of thread all the way along the shank. Now I'm going to come round the bend slightly. Just take the thread round the bend. Now the reason I'm doing this is that it has a like a tail and it sits away from the back of the body. Now I'm going to tie that in just as it levels out or where the shank starts to go straighten out. And this will help separate it and put it in the right area. Now, foam I'm going to use, this is a thin foam. This is by Wopsy, just a black thin foam. Now, I'm going to cut basically a taper, a shape that basically represents the tapered part of the body of the fly. And this is going to kind of cover the, to help give the shape. I just thought it looked much better, just like that. There you go. And then, basically, so when I lay this over the back, you that helps to give that impression. Now what I'm going to do is slightly stretch it. Stretch as well. Catch this on. So help with the taper as well. Just taking the thread up quite quick. And then coming back down. Then I'm going to get some dry fly dubbing, in this case black. Just want to a, form a small ball at the back just to lift the tail. So obviously you want it to be tapered as well. There we go. That's fine. Just look at the shape. Now I'm just going to use the turkey bite and the small ones at the bottom that I'm never going to use just to give the impression of two small tails. Not that very long. I'm just going to set them on the side. Time both on together at the same time. Get the length. This one's just slightly too long on that side, so I'm going to pull it in. Looks okay. Once you're happy, again, tighten up. That's fine. Draw away the excess. Then I'm going to cut another length of the thin foam, around about maybe say three mil, two to three mil thick, all the way up. It's going to form our body. Again, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just stretch it to taper it. There you go. See a nice reasonable taper there. Catch this in. I always like to wind it on to the area where I want it to start, so I can see exactly where I am. Looks fine, and come back up. I'm going to wind this onto some super glue. So I'm just going to put some super glue top and bottom. This will obviously stick it to the shank and make it much more robust. The fly will last much longer if you use it like this. Now what I'm going to do is stretch it first, so I can form the taper. This foam stretches really well, as you'll find when you go to use it. Plus it's very shiny, it's excellent. Just slightly overlap it, just forming that nice shape. Now what I like to do is, towards the end, just to add a wee bit more of the super glue, just to make sure it's going to stick. It's fine. And then, once you've got enough, tie it down. Throw away the excess and tidy up. So look at the shape. That looks that looks okay. This gives the a good shape as well. Let's bring this over the back. And then tie it down is right on the top. A good half a dozen turns or so. There you go. And trim away the excess. And then tie it. Down. Now you could use, for the legs, I'm going to use turkey by it. Uh, you could use knotted pheasant tail. I mean, I'll give you an idea. There's a knotted pheasant tail there. About half a dozen fibres knotted together. A couple of knots on it. And then, as I look at the, the bites, after putting it on the, the tail, I thought, well, the bites look very rule-like. So I 
tying a knot and what I did was to protect the knot was I get some bug bond, some light bug bond and I just put it on the knot either side and obviously put the torch on it and this there oh, it sets it really sets the knot, stops it slipping and stretching and you do because you don't want it stretching and that's it and then you end up you only need the one knot tie in there I could I've got the turkey bites here, there's one to knot it, just knot it the exact same way as I would do pheasant tail just, just to show you that I can do it and you just pull it into the area you want it let me see the length of the point now what I do is, once I get it to this point here, I flatten it don't pull it tight, just you want that nice knuckle in it, you want the elbow and then you put the bug bond on it, sets it really nice. Now we've obviously got two ready here to tie on. The legs sit up, so they do. Slightly up from the body. Two or three turns here, just to hold it, just to get it to see where it's... You can move these around to get them to sit the way you like first, and then you can tighten up. There's your legs. Once you're happy, make sure the right length first. Right, once you're happy, then you can tighten up. And take away the excess. Watch your thread, you don't cut it. Again, I'm just going to wax my thread just there. Especially up the head area because I need all the grip. So want this taper here, don't want it don't want a step or anything there at this point. There we are. Now cut some more of the foam just to speed up the tying here. I've cut it into a sort of like a point. This is round about, I'll just measure it for you to make sure. I just cut it by eye. This is just about six mil wide. Just get I'll cut the other end to show you. All I've done is got a curved pair of scissors come in. It's got into kind of like a pencil pencil point. Take the tip away, the sharp point, and then the underside. I'm just going to cut away the edge, the edge of the foam, and then basically what you can do then is come in, stretch it slightly. See that point there? That that reduces the bulk. Then you can set this on the top. And you'll find that it sits nice like a wing case. And then if it's just that, so I would say that's just slightly too long, so I'm just going to come back. I would say about halfway down should be a bit right. There you go, it's a bit better. And then come in and trim away the waste. And then take this down. Now, first thing I'm going to do is check the distance I'm away from the on the body. I want to come down a bit more. You do sometimes travel a wee bit away from the area. It's fine. Then you want to get yourself the best the best set of hackle I I'm, I'm using a saddle, dyed black saddle hackle. And uh you could use what hackles you have. And basically, length is up to yourself. I mean, it's, it's quite short, I would say. Don't go too long with it. Just bear some of the stem and take some of the fibres away. Now we tie in probably around about four turns or so. should be plenty. There you go. Another one. At this point, we've got plenty of room here to tidy up, so scratch it down. Come in and trim away the waste. There will be the odd fibre, like you can see, instead of wanting to go forward, but I'm, I'm not being too fussy with it because I know I can tidy up. So you bring the thread up, the sh basically the kind of thorax area. 
Now I'm going to form some horns. I'm just going to use two pheasant tail fibers dyed black. This just makes it look the part once you've dyed it. Now the, the antenna and the horns of the fly sit halfway up. And the some of some of the patterns I saw on the on the internet it was quite short. Some were really long, so I'll go for like in between as they say. Show my way. Can we or wax? And then get some dubbing. Some more of your same dubbing we used at the back of the, the body. So you want to taper it. I just put on a fibers at the back, not towards the head. Try and keep these antenna in the centre. Just come as come forward. Just take some dubbing at the front. I'm just going to tie off, draw back any fibres going forward of the eye. A bit of wax. And then a good four or five turns of it finish. Anything going forward, trim it away, trim away your thread. Now your horns, they do sit slightly up, but what you can do is you can curl them so that they Curl round as a natural day, we can crack it. And there we go. And then, what I'm going to do here, just a tiny bit of the bug bond, just let it soak into the dressing, take away the excess a wee bit. And then set it with the torch. And there we are. And that's basically the black cricket. Uh, you can try it, let me know how you get on. Uh, it's, it's something we don't have in Scotland, but I wouldn't mind to see them bouncing around. We've got a small sort of grasshopper around about the same size, but it's bright green, which probably be the partner should be tying. Anyway. You can give it a go. So what I'm going to do here is just trim away the hackle for the underside so that basically it sits flatter. On the surface, if it gets blown onto the water, it will do that. And there you go. And that's basically the black cricket. Well, it looks apart anyway, so it gives the impression. And that's what you're looking for. And that's what fly tying is all about. So I hope you enjoyed that.